Ever wondered how time can slow down? Let's start with the basics of time dilation. Einstein's theory of relativity comes in two flavors, special relativity and general relativity. First up, special relativity. In 1905, Einstein introduced this idea with two key principles. One, the principle of relativity, which tells us that the laws of physics are the same in all non-accelerating frames of reference. And two, the constancy of the speed of light, which means that light travels at a constant speed of approximately 299,792,458 meters per second, no matter the motion of the source or observer. These principles lead us to an incredible realization. Time is relative. When an object moves close to the speed of light, time for it slows down compared to a stationary observer. This is described by the Lorentz factor, which shows how much time stretches based on velocity. As the object's speed approaches the speed of light, time slows dramatically. Now, let's talk about general relativity, Einstein's 1915 extension that incorporates gravity. It explains gravity not as a force, but as a curvature of space-time caused by mass. In areas of strong gravitational fields, time slows down compared to weaker fields. This phenomenon, known as gravitational time dilation, is significant around massive celestial bodies like stars and black holes. But is this just theoretical? Definitely not. Time dilation has been confirmed through numerous experiments. Take muon decay, for example. Muons are particles created when cosmic rays hit our atmosphere at high speeds. Their internal clocks slow down, allowing them to reach the Earth's surface. And then there's the famous Huffel-Keating experiment in 1971. Scientists flew atomic clocks around the world on commercial jets, and guess what? The clocks showed discrepancies compared to stationary ones, proving both velocity and gravity-induced time dilation. Even our GPS satellites experience time dilation. Orbiting Earth at high speeds and experiencing weaker gravity, their clocks need constant adjustment to provide accurate positioning data. Let's dive into some hypothetical scenarios. Picture an astronaut journeying to a black hole. As they approach the event horizon, time slows drastically for them. To us, the astronaut seems frozen in time, but from their perspective, time feels normal while the universe's clock speeds up. Or imagine a spacecraft traveling at 99.99% the speed of light to a star system 10 light years away. For us on Earth, the trip takes over 10 years, but for the astronauts, only a few months pass. When they return, decades have gone by on Earth. Time dilation doesn't just twist our understanding of time, it also has profound implications for space travel and even our perception of reality. Events that seem simultaneous in one frame of reference may not be in another, a concept known as the relativity of simultaneity. Let's explore another captivating question. Is aging related to time? Absolutely. Aging is fundamentally intertwined with the passage of time, and understanding this relationship requires us to delve into both biological processes and the fascinating implications of time dilation. Let's start with biological aging. Our bodies are composed of trillions of cells, each undergoing its own life cycle. One key aspect is cell division. Every time a cell divides, the protective caps on our chromosomes, known as telomeres, shorten. Over time, this shortening leads to cellular aging and eventually cellular senescence, where cells can no longer divide. Additionally, as time progresses, our DNA accumulates damage from various sources like UV radiation, environmental toxins and metabolic byproducts. The body's ability to repair this damage diminishes with age, contributing to the aging process. Our metabolism plays a crucial role in aging. Over time, the Metabolic processes produce reactive oxygen species, or ROS, which can damage cellular components. This accumulation of damage is a significant factor in aging. Mitochondria, the powerhouses of our cells, also decline in function with age, reducing cellular energy production and contributing to the aging process. Our endocrine system, which regulates hormones, changes over time. This affects growth, metabolism and reproductive functions. For example, menopause and andropause mark significant hormonal shifts related to aging. But what about time dilation and aging? 
From the perspective of Einstein's theory of relativity, time dilation has intriguing implications for aging, particularly in extreme scenarios involving high velocities or strong gravitational fields. If an individual were to travel at velocities close to the speed of light, time would slow down for them relative to someone who remains stationary. This means the traveling individual would age more slowly compared to their counterpart on Earth. This phenomenon is known as time dilation. Similarly, in strong gravitational fields, time moves slower relative to weaker gravitational fields. An individual near a massive object like a black hole would age more slowly compared to someone far from such a gravitational source. Lastly, let's touch on everyday time and aging. Chronological age is the measure of time a person has lived since birth, typically measured in years. It is a straightforward measure of aging based on the passage of time. Biological age, on the other hand, refers to how old a person's body seems based on various biomarkers and physiological indicators, which may not perfectly align with their chronological age. Lifestyle, genetics and environmental factors all influence biological aging. Now let's delve into a thought-provoking question. Is time a man-made concept? The concept of time straddles both natural phenomena and human invention. Here's a detailed exploration of this duality. Time is an intrinsic aspect of the universe evident in the sequences of events and processes that govern physical reality. For instance, the orbit of the Earth around the Sun and the cycles of day and night are natural phenomena that demonstrate the passage of time. In physics, particularly in thermodynamics, time is associated with the concept of entropy. Entropy tends to increase over time, leading to the idea that time has a direction often referred to as the arrow of time. Albert Einstein's theories of relativity further illustrate that time is a fundamental dimension intertwined with space, creating the four-dimensional fabric of space-time. Time dilation, as described by relativity, shows that time can be affected by speed and gravity, demonstrating its physical reality. Humans have created systems to measure and organize time, such as calendars and clocks. These tools allow us to segment time into units like seconds, minutes, hours, days, months and years, providing a consistent framework for scheduling and coordinating activities. Different cultures have developed various ways to interpret and utilize time. Concepts like work hours, weekends and holidays are cultural constructs that organize human activities around the passage of time. The division of the world into time zones is a human-made system designed to standardize timekeeping across different geographic regions, facilitating communication and coordination globally. Humans perceive time subjectively. Psychological studies show that our experience of time can vary depending on activities, emotions and age. This subjective perception influences how we organize and value time in our lives. Modern economies and societies are heavily structured around the concept of time, influencing work schedules, education systems and social interactions. Time management has become a critical skill in contemporary life, reflecting its importance in societal functioning. So, is time a man-made thing? The answer lies in understanding that while the measurement and organization of time are human constructs, the passage of time itself is a fundamental aspect of the universe, deeply embedded in the fabric of reality. Now that we've explored the intricate relationship between time and aging, let's delve into a fascinating concept known as the broken clock theory. The broken clock theory generally refers to the idea that even something that is consistently incorrect can occasionally provide accurate information. This concept is often encapsulated in the saying, even a broken clock is right twice a day. Imagine an analog clock stuck at 3.00. Despite being broken, it will still show the correct time at 3.00 a.m. and 3.00 p.m. every day. But this theory isn't just about clocks. It has broader metaphorical implications. In human behavior and decision-making, the broken clock theory suggests that even people who are often wrong or unreliable can still be correct occasionally. For instance, a person known for making poor predictions might still by chance predict something accurately once in a while. In data analysis or statistics, the broken clock theory serves as a cautionary tale. It warns against assuming consistency or reliability based on occasional correct outcomes. Just because a particular method or source of information provides the correct result at times doesn't mean it is reliable overall. Philosophically, the broken clock theory can illustrate cognitive biases such as confirmation bias, where people might give undue weight to instances where an unreliable source happens to be correct, ignoring the overall pattern of inaccuracy. 
Practically speaking, the broken clock theory encourages critical thinking and skepticism. It reminds us that occasional correctness does not equate to overall reliability. Evaluating the consistency and accuracy of a source or method over time is essential. Sometimes this theory is even used humorously or pessimistically to comment on situations where reliability is in question. For example, in organizational or political contexts, it might be used to critique decision-makers or processes that are infrequently correct.